Yo, what is up squad? It's your boy Pino E here and for today's video We're gonna take a look at the confirmed and rumored Jordan brand releases for March now before you go any further Don't forget to hit that like button and if you're new around here click subscribe now without any further ado Let's go Things kick off for Jordan brand on March 4th when the Air Jordan 15 Obsidian makes its first return in 17 years Last released in 2000, the pair comes dressed in its original colorway of obsidian white and silver, and it's forged with an obsidian leather and woven upper. Hits of white and silver can be found on the upper and heel counter with a white rubber outsole, and finishing the look off are silver lace tips. March 4th is the date, $190 is the price. You can find these at most Jordan brand retailers along with the sneakers app, and these shouldn't be a hard pickup. Also releasing on March 4th, we have the Air Jordan 6 GS Hyper Jade. The pair grabs inspiration from the Motorsport 6s and it comes dressed in a white tumble leather upper with hits of black on the tongue, pull tab and mid, featuring hits of jade on the lace lock and insole and it all sits on an icy blue outsole. Now similar to the 15s, these will be a wide release and pairs should be easy to pick up at most Jordan brand retailers or Nike.com. Once again, March 4th is the date, $140 is the price, and yes, they will be available in extended sizing. Michael Jordan had the nickname Black Cat, and as a nod to that nickname, Jordan Brand will be releasing the Air Jordan 31 Black Cat. Coming in a black colorway, the upper is constructed of flyweave, fusing into leather on the heel, featuring a leather tongue tag with the Jumpman embossed on the outer side and a Black Cat logo on the inner. Hits of white could be found on the lacing system's fly wire, while the shoe rests on a black mid and white outsole. This pair releases on March 10th with a retail price of $185. Jordan Brand has been running with the alternate theme, releasing the alternate 4s and 8s, and next up for the collection are the Air Jordan 6 Alternate. Looking at this shoe, I would say Nike's designers grabbed inspiration from the Maroon 6 and Hair 7s, and this pair will drop featuring a white perforated leather upper with pure platinum paneling and hits of gym red on the tongue, sock liner, pull tab, lace lock, and midsole. And completing this pair is 1991 stitched on the backside of the tongue. March 11th is the date, and these will retail for $190. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 12 Low Wolf Grey. I'm not a big fan of these, but they come constructed of a wolf grey suede upper with matching leather mudguard overlays. Hits of armory navy accenting can be found on the tongue, insole, heel tab, and outsole, with small touches of lime green throughout. Like the rest of the pairs we spoke about, these will be available almost everywhere along with the sneakers app, but this pair drops March 18th for $170. Thankfully for my wallet, most of March is a pass for me, and the first pair I want on this list drops on March 25th, the Air Jordan 4 Motorsport. Now, I'm sure most of you already know, but for those who may not, the inspiration from this shoe is based on the Motorsport 4s that released back in 2006, which were provided to Michael Jordan's Motorsport team for the 4th anniversary. However, there is one small difference, there's no Mars Black Mountain on the heel. Regardless of that logo, I still like them, and these will release as a GR on March 25th for one $190 retail. Also releasing on March 25th of the Air Jordan 6 GS Still Blue. Such a dope shoe, I would have definitely liked to add these to my collection, but unfortunately for me, these are a grade school exclusive, running in extended sizes up to a 9.5 youth. For those of you who can fit them, the upper is built using a tumbled leather colored in still blue with very minor hits of white on the tongue, lace lock, pull tab, and insole. Completing this pair off, the shoe sits on a white mid with an icy blue outsole. Now don't worry about these, they will also be available almost everywhere that sells Jordan brand on March 25th for $140. For this next pair up on screen, and I gotta have them, we don't have a release date yet, but they are believed to be releasing in March, and they're the Air Jordan 1 Mid New Love. This pair last released on April 21st, 2007 as part of the Old Love New Love pack, which also included a mid version of the Black Toe. Keeping it true to the OG, this pair will drop as a mid in a black, varsity maze and white colorway with the Jumpman on the tongue and heel and a jeweled wings logo. Already released overseas, these will be dropping soon, so stay tuned. And next we have the Air Jordan 4 Cause. Apparently there were four versions made using the Air Jordan 4 and the one that will drop comes dressed in cool gray and white. The shoe will feature glow in the dark bottoms with the brand's double X branding on the outsole. This is another one where we haven't yet seen a leak, but stay tuned and you can expect them sometime in March. 
And last up, we have the Air Jordan 3 Atmos. It's believed this pair will release on Air Max Day, which is March 26th, although that date has yet to be confirmed. Other than that, there's really not much else known about this pair. What you're looking at up on screen is a custom, so they might end up looking like this or nothing like this. We don't know. Since I love 3s, I'll probably have to have them, but stay tuned for a first look. And that does it for today's video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's look at Nike and Adidas drops for the month of March. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out!